All right, so I reached a tipping point with this game, control-wise, and I was like, you know what? I should just try playing this game with a controller. There'll be a little bit of an awkward, like, gotta get the new controls down, but honestly, the existing controls already felt awkward, so that won't really that be that much of a change. But yeah, I was noticing, like, every menu and every interaction and every little thing I was doing, for the most part, just kind of felt awkward and strange on a keyboard. And, like, the key mappings are odd, and a lot of the inputs they want from me are just weird, and then, like, there's some weird combinations, like, radial menus, and, like, a lot of mouse wheel action going on, to, like, page, like, selecting dialogue is a mouse wheel. Uh, there's other menus that are, like, mouse wheel oriented sometimes, and it's just, like, just kind of some weird inputs. So, I was like, what? the reason I'm playing keyboard and mouse is just so I'm better at aiming, basically? But, like, if the menus feel better on a controller, and the movement feels better on a controller, and the driving feels better on a controller, then I guess I should probably just play controller, right? Like, how long have I been playing so far? And how much of that has been actually shooting? And I'm like, huh. Forget the idea of switching to a controller to drive. How about I just switch to keyboard and mouse, which is right here in front of me, whenever shooting happens, like, at this rate, so far once every two hours or three hours. So we'll, let's we'll go see these bastards. We'll give this a go. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. <sighs> Don't know you. Just open the fucking door. Yeah? You make a fucking appointment? Cause I don't see nothing in my book. Wanna talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Nope, turrets. I actually don't know how to put my gun away. <laughs> uh, cozy place. Uh, double tap alt. <laughs> use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. Don't think I've ever seen security like this in a chow factory. What's over here? 1,000 beats a second. I couldn't believe my eyes. For a moment, I thought Jessica had changed them out for faulty Kiroshis while I was asleep. But no, that wouldn't have been like her. I blinked again. No change. There I saw them, clear as day, the open flaps of Jason's chrome skull. I saw the electronic brain that, up until now, had been hidden by perfect imitation sinskin. The son of Future Tech CEO, the boy of my damn dreams, Jason. He was an android. Shit. I saw there... I sat there stuck with a dumb expression on my face and Jason stared back with one of his own. I couldn't help but wonder now, were those beautiful blue eyes of his the same that had pierced my soul? Were they merely a mimicry controlled by some emo algorithm? Had there been, had there never been anything real between them all these, those times, not once? Alex, I, it's not what you think, he pleaded with some strangely authentic note of panic in his voice, and I wanted to believe him, I really did. Hmm. Well, clearly it hasn't been. I replied, in equal parts anxious and bitter. Me and my rotten luck, the first and last guy I fall for, and he turns out to be a goddamn mother f a motherboard on legs. No, that's not... Jason suddenly broke off and smiled awkwardly. Wait, did you... did you say fall for? My cardio implant began to beat more and more quickly. My face flushed. Had I been wrong? Could this body of bolts, wires, and plastic really contain whatever's left of the real Jason Caldales? 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 I don't... If my father had been able to design a synthetic heart for me, maybe he could do the same with his son's brain. The question is... Why? Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. 
must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. This does feel a little weird. Let's see. We have this option down here. That's interesting. Response curve. That's only for third person, though. Dare I even know? Oh my goodness. Maybe turn down the ramp up time, I guess? Raw, sensitive, dynamic. Don't know what those mean at all. Let's do some tweaking. And I'll fine tune it. There we go. I'm a little aggressive with the joystick, and whenever I went a little too far with the joystick, it was like, Fleh! like 180 degrees immediately. I'm like, that's a little much. As right, so B is crouched. Very intuitive controls for a controller. What happened to the keyboard controls? <laughs> Those are mines. That's what that's what the uh, beam was for. Can cyber psychosis be cured? Opinions on that question are divided. Only a few years ago, so-called brain dance therapy was used across the entire country on a mass scale, with the aim of bringing the sick back from the point of no return. The patient would be placed on a special chair and connected to a device that would deactivate all implants. Then electrodes would be attached, inducing the patient to a coma-like brain dance session. This was then followed up by medicine, psychosurgery, and an aversion therapy. The overall treatment was intended to sever all the patient's neural connections and tie them back together so that the cyberpsycho could return to society. Once the therapy was concluded, no symptoms of cyberpsychosis were detected, as well as the patient's former personality. But don't worry, nowadays other methods are used. At least... That's what they tell us. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, cyberpsychosis could be up for... Like, as much as... Like, in a previous episode, I mentioned the idea, like, it, if, if there's any treatment, that's better than shooting them. And that, that's technically true. But, like, yeah. This could be a complete reset on the entire idea of, like, asylums and all the distressing things that have happened to mental patients over the centuries that are often just involved permanently damaging them until they stopped freaking out as much and like that was the only solution in many cases and it's like that you're not fixing anything you're just kind of killing them instead of not instead of completely killing them it's not necessary that's it's hard to call some of that treatment but that's like a long distressing legacy not lost on me by the way by the fact that uh, the un unrelated just side thing but also related to, to bds what are they called what's bd again brain dan yeah brain dancing I did say this game reminds me of of, of uh, Observer, which is the cyberpunk uh, horror game that came out a few years ago. Uh, can I, I, that was I said that before we got to the point where I'm like jacking into people's brains and replaying their memories. Although I think in Observer you jacked into somebody who was still alive, and specifically you were you were witnessing brains dying in, in real time, which was distressing. But it was a horror game, so that was the thing. So I guess this actually has more to do with the movie Strange Days, which is worth checking out if you haven't seen it before. It's a pretty neat sci-fi movie that is dated now, which is fun because that retro futurist thing where there's a weird mix of old tech and new tech and a quote unquote futuristic thing, which it was a movie about the future, but now it takes place in the past because I think it was about the turn of the millennium. So it's like retro, anachronistic, messy sci-fi, which is my one of my favorite things is that insane aesthetic. Uh, but specifically, I found that movie because Roger Ebert in his review of The Matrix he was like, oh, this was fine, but it wasn't like, it wasn't as good as Dark uh, dark City or Strange Days. And instead of getting defensive about it, be like, what, stupid old man? How dare you say things are better than The Matrix or whatever the fuck? When I read that article, I was like, well, now I gotta watch both of those movies. And I was glad I did. Dark City and Strange Days are both great. Dark City was ripped off a few years ago by the movie uh, Adjustment Bureau. That was just the same movie, but less interesting. If you saw Adjustment Bureau and thought it was interesting at all, uh, imagine that movie, but it's set in Gotham City, populated by Cenobites. 
<laughs> and you get Dark City, which is way more interesting to watch. Uh, but in Strange Days' case, we have this exact mechanic, I think, that we're seeing here, which is that you have uh, the ability to record minds and memories and replay them and whatnot, which is it's getting play recently in other stuff too, like um, A Beautifully Foolish Endeavor, Hank Green's novel. But uh, specifically, uh, that one dealt with the exact idea we dealt with earlier, which is that it's that idea crossed with capitalism where you have like, well, you got to record these memories, right? To make money. Like, and then there's like the distressing, some of the more, there's, there's like the seedier industries, like, oh, what, what, what if you record sex and other stuff? But then there's the distressing industries where it's like the, the underground horrible shit. We're like, what if we record stuff that's definitely illegal? Not only the acts do, being done in the thing, but distributing this very media would itself also be illegal. And that's when you get into like snuff films and things, which is then in this case is just murder. <laughs> a snuff film is just mur like, well, I mean, it's a snuff from, film is murder in real life too. But in this case, you're murdering the person recording it. And we had that exact thing happen uh, just now where we replayed the memory of somebody who got shot by his partner. And then we did the, some CSIing to investigate how that happened. And in Strange Days, I think there's also specifically like, I think if I remember correctly, the antagonist might have been like, some kind of serial killer that was recording his victims and then distributing those tapes of the victim's pers perspective of, well, as they had died. And that's an even darker take on the thing we just dealt with earlier. Maelstrom. Uh, with uh, that guy that got killed by his own partner. <laughs> Is it bad that I'm like, what if I just like disarmed these? Probably. Make a save real quick before I try it, but I'm just kind of curious. What happens if I click on this? Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. They're everywhere. It's just he's just it's just an observation. I thought he might actually try to like jack in there. Let's just start let's just start nabbing them all one by one. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. You say that, but this is definitely a room where a fight might happen. It's full of cover like that. Level design screams, this is a combat arena. Maybe on the way out? Maybe if I just piss them off too much? He's called us sheep? Oh! Ugh! I think that's a hanging body and you just like bumped in- Why did they pass you into the- whatever. Just stealing everything real quick. Don't mind me. Alright, keep chill, V. Remember, we're on their turf. So what do you want? Here to see Royce. We got biz to transact. Mr. Royce is busy just now. He will deal with me. You got a bot. Model MT zero D one two, called the Flathead. And the hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Dum Dum. Now couch, planet. His name's Dum Dum. That doesn't bode well for our negotiating. Or build bodes great for it, I guess. I don't fucking know. Maybe he's very easy to trick. Uh, well, shit. Goes for you, too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. Sit your ass down for a planet bullet, you skull. Jack, sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but... Shit. Well, all right. Come on, not lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? A skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on, give it a whirl!
we can talk. Here we go. The flathead. Model MT-0 D-12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We removed the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. What's yours, it's yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimp down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Huh. Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Of course not. Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Three, sure, yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Ask you a... Relax. Got him right here. Just like that! Without batting a fucking eye! <laughs> want it or not, I got places to be. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> he ain't dead. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? Short, Sirk! I don't Bad. wait! Bring it, cocksuckers! I might be done with these people. Oh boy, I really need a shotgun. So crouch is toggle on controller, but not on, not on keyboard. I have to hold control the whole time. There's got to be a hot key. There's got to be a, a setting for that. Why is this guy so durable? There we go. I'm, I may have been pretty done with him at that point. <laughs> Make me pay twice. Ricochet weapons. Power weapons will allow you to control the direction of bullet ricochets if you have basic co-processor cyberware and trajectory generator mod for Kiroshi optics installed. Mmm. That's interesting. I guess it's useful if you if you get it really down, you can shoot behind cover that way. Like you can nail people that are hiding from you. Yeah, they're gonna be mad at me, but uh, you know. I was done I was done with them. Combat gadgets. Assign a grenade to the combat gadget quick slot in your inventory so you can make easy use of it during combat. Blaming Bart Moss by Bugbear. 
When I imagine what the net was like before Bart Moss, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable. Corpo runners ruling, uh, pulling one way, post-war rogue AIs pulling the other. Financial markets tanked, virus mutations spiraled in uncontrollable ways, and runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bart Moss saw the net as a grenade waiting for the pin to get pulled, and that's exactly what he did. Fuck it, right? Let the world burn. Bart Moss fucked the system, but fucked all of us right along with it. Just look at it now. Corpse are on top as usual. The black wall, which was supposed to protect us after the net's crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before Bart Moss, the net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bart Moss, the net's like an airport security check. Every step you take. Netwatch is checking your papers and performing a thorough cavity search. Oh, but all for your own good, of course. Alright, I hate pistols. Please tell me I picked up a goddamn shotgun. Oh my- or anything else, really. Okay, so we have two assault rifles. 75 and 77 DPS. Chemical damage. Thermal damage. Does it say what type of ammo they take? It's probably fine. Quick access slots. I've got a healing item, and I've got a biohazard grenade, so that's already equipped. Okay. Oh yeah. This will be way more immediately useful. Uh... He's having a good time. Can I just open this door back up? I knew that was gonna be their boss when the door opened, all dramatic, like, they did some good scene framing there. To clearly communicate who that guy was without even having to say it at first. I knew he wasn't going to like it when I asked about me having to pay again. Yeah, crouches toggle. Maybe you can change that in the other settings. Or can you keep on a mouse? Ooh. Holy crap, there's so many of these. <laughs> All foods, the future of meat. Not only are all foods products healthy and nutritious, they will feed our future. Soon, all foods will launch a pilot line of new products to complement the Easy Beef brand. This series of meat products will be based on flatworm cultures, which have been found to significantly help increase metabolism, slow weight gain, and cleanse the intestinal tract. We hope the flatworm initiative will usher in all foods' latest successful generation of meat products. Heh. <laughs> Okay, let's jump. If I use something less precise than a pistol, I can also get away with with controller shooting more. I want a shotgun though. If it, if I'm not using silenced weapons, then shotguns are my jam. Especially when we're in, in we're using indoor locations a lot so far. Even if they are special, magical, video game shotguns that don't exist in real life. Or mostly don't reflect how most gun shotguns work in real life. But video game shotguns? Exactly my fi my choice of fiction gun. Uh, I missed the item that was past that jump. Can I, get, can I go back? Nope. <laughs> but I can, I can attract their attention by doing that. Okay. This is one gap in my plan. Uh... Control scheme, there we go. <laughs> Where they put the, uh... Combat gadget's right bumper. Where they put hacking. Scanning was left bumper, okay. That's, uh, you don't know that. Oop. What is that? 
That's a camera. Okay. Uh. Oopsie. Embarrassing. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackie Webb. Okay. Uh BD BD. Camera shut down. Deactivates all cameras. We done? Okay. Ah. I think they shot the camera, so I'm not using that anymore. <laughs> that could have gotten better. That was all over the place. Oh, they put me back there. Pick it up. Nice of you to show. Turn there we go. There we go. Turn off the cameras here. You can spot this guy. I don't think they can see me yet. All well, their cameras are currently off. That one guy's roaming around a bit. Short circuits. Deals damage to the target. More effective against drones, mechs, and robots. Still want to try it, though. Alright, controller, uh, keyboard. Oh shit, I thought I turned the cameras off. Shit. Okay, I still don't understand how hacking works, apparently. God, the, aim oh, the aiming feels weird. I don't know why it feels so weird. I don't know enough about first-person shooters to, like, intuitively be able to... Oh god, where even am I? Okay. Uh, oh shit! Is there still a camera up there? Yeah, I think so. Let's do some of this real quick. What is overheating? That's Jackie. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of enemies. Shit. <laughs> I'm just trash at combat so far, apparently. What? What the? Can I have a shotgun or a sniper rifle? I don't want pistols, and I don't want fucking assault rifles. Yeah, when I was well, that sentence I was trying to get through when I was talking about how I don't know understand first person shooters enough. Uh, what, I'm, what I was trying to say is I don't I don't play enough of them to like be able to quickly re. Oh, God, I just need to say this thought because the fight's so distracting. I don't know how to make every shooter just feel the same. Like I have this like like I play a lot of Overwatch, like a lot of Overwatch, and I'm like, okay, there's a particular way for the camera to move and for guns to feel that feels good. I know when it feels good. But when it feels bad, I kind of don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I'm like, do I turn the sensitivity up again or down again? Or like, which thing do I want to do each time? Or I don't even know. But also like, I don't know. It might be less, it, not, it, might, not, it might not entirely be the controls either. Because admittedly, the, uh, let's see. It's at the same time, uh, we turn down the zooming. Maybe that's what's helpful. 
this is this makes us see your 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 thing moves less when you're zoomed, which can be helpful sometimes. Uh, it, it's hard to articulate why it feels bad when it does feel bad, but whenever a shooter feels bad, I'm just like ah ah, and I just I can't aim reliably, and I, movement feels wrong and and horrible. Maybe if I had more practice, I'd be in a better place because this this game has a very low fight density so far. This this gun's trash though, right? Like this is this is trash. There we go. Headshots. Enemy net runners. Hostile net runners trying to breach your system. Uh, you can use a scanner to highlight the fucking. Could you fucking pause the game for that pop up and like the other ones? I, I'm trying to play the game, and it fucking goes away. Okay. Uh, remote deactivation. Distract enemies. Let's try distracting enemies. No. I'm pressing jump on accident. I don't know, I'll get used to it. This is like my first real fight in the entire game, practically. So I'm not gonna feel that bad about it. Okay, so I'm out of RAM at this point, I think? Yeah. I don't know what the Netrunner thing said because it fucking went away. Because they had it show up in the middle of a fight. It's like, without pausing the game, it's like, fuck, thanks for your help, game. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna interrupt the fight for for reading. Oh, that's just. Is that just a random film camera, basically? All right. Ah. All right. I assume that there was a, like a grenade notification that just wasn't very clear because I'm just not used to looking for it, I guess, yet. Alright, uh, fuck, get this open. Okay, yeah, there has to be a, a fix for this. Uh, I'm sorry for all the interruptions, but the the controls just are massively just a de It just feels like a, like a huge roadblock to me right now. I'm having a, such a trouble, so much trouble just getting through this game right now. Uh, those are controller controls. That's all the mouse. Where are the keyboard controls? These are just mouse controls. There's key bindings, but key bindings aren't. Wait. Ooh, crouch toggle. C is toggle. So if I press C, it's a toggle. If I press control, it's hold. Okay, so I can just press C instead. They, they mapped both of them to separate buttons. Because I'm sick of holding crouch, crouch down on top of everything else I'm doing. God, it's weirdly hard to hit. Ah! <laughs> this is not going well. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's see. Uh, we've been like in walking simulator for like the last mode for like the last three hours. I'm not, apparently, not ready for this. That's what's been killing me, isn't it? And I noticed it the second time. That's like, oh yeah, the pipe is explosive. So it wasn't it wasn't a grenade notification, if there even is one. Uh, what is it mapped to on this control scheme? There we go. What am I taking damage from? Was it damage over time? I guess. Whoop! They're throwing shit at me too. Where? I don't know. They're hacking me again, but this time it doesn't even tell me what it how, how it works. So now I don't even know what to do about the hacking. I couldn't even try to read it this time because they just didn't show it this time. Please give me any other gun. Do you have a gun? Ah! <gasps> ah! Uh, ah! Uh. 
Uh, no, that, that different button. Uh, bzzz, you. Go in the garbage. Double brush. Just, you know, you go in the garbage, actually. Why don't you? Yes. Uh, what is the hacking button in this game? There we go. But on this control scheme. Where is he? Where is our enemy? Oh, shit. Am I out of fire? Ow. What? What? Stop, drop, and roll, motherfucker! Alright. <laughs> hey, ally, can you tell me where your, where your target is? Where is he? Who's hacking me? Shit. Uh... I can't control the camera from here. I can distract enemies. We Hello. Shotgun. The correct gun. How you guys feeling? I'm pretty I'm feeling pretty good. I have a shotgun now. Double barrel's not the best, but. Oh, he's got a shotgun, too. That means I'll get ammo. Hello, friend. Headshot. You take a lot of headshots for a human being. I guess it's all the all the mods. He's all he's all kitted out. Am I taking damage right now? Yes. Why, why, why am I taking damage from? I'm on fire again. Fucking stop, drop, and roll. Why is this so hard for you? <laughs> Come, on, I'm here Come on, buddy. Where is he? Uh, uh. Hey, buddy. Attribute requirements. Uh, I couldn't read that because it went away. What happened to pausing the game so I could read things? Why is it only sometimes that? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, cancel? Uh, let's... Uh, no. Cancel? I don't know the context of this choice yet. Let me look around. What if I want... Fuck it. Damn it. What if I want to blow it up, though? But I don't want to blow it up right now. I was just picking up items, asshole. God. I don't like that. Why was that a choice? Damn it. I didn't. I wasn't ready to make that choice. There's like somebody begging for help in the next room I thought I heard. Yeah. So I was like, I don't want to blow them up necessarily until I know more. Whatever. I, I, I disarmed shit. Who's that? Enemies have been alerted. Oh, that guy. Shit. The security thing. Is that, all of them? is that all of them? I don't know if that is all of them. You know that. <laughs> Guess that's all of them while we're being detected. Uh, this this button. There we go. Camera control. Turn off. Distract enemies. Let's just turn you off. Hmm. I definitely hear someone, but I don't know where they are. You're very chatty. Do you focus on finding the guy who's still around somewhere? So many- shut up, dude! He just keeps repeating it every three seconds. Oh, is that the guy? That's the cameras again. Now who spotted me? These are just cameras over and over again. I keep losing track of which ones I've already 
deactivated because uh, we had too many life. We did. We had too many playthroughs of the zone. Is he here now, finally, or is he gonna keep saying he's gonna come here and then not doing it? Hey, buddy. Is that coffee? Nope. <laughs> it's a fire extinguisher. I think. Who's talking? I think he's just shouting at us from the other room still. Okay. So Brick was the previous leadership that was apparently more agreeable. We're probably gonna want to free him. I can figure out how to get into that room. Hmm. I need a code, right? Don't have the authorization. Of course, he might not like that I killed everybody. Here we go. This might be useful. Let's see, messages. Only you, uh, only you guys know. Brick's been demoted to cage duty. 96, 91. Keep to your fucking selves. You idiot. All right. Ninety-six. Ninety-one. All right. Back to our... This is what happens when you ask me to pay me twice. I undo your coup. God. Felt like a fucking eternity, that. Guess it's kind of your fault we're here. Came for some tech Dex bought. He tell you to free me? No, just to pick up the bot. Classic fucking Dex. <laughs> Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we're doing a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, maybe. I'll get you, but kind of caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. All right. Be calm. Are those bottles? Don't sure give me any new regrets, please. Manage all right. This is my home. Quit fucking sweating it. Well, I guess he can take over now. Some items. There we go. There we go. Some progress happened. And, uh, you know, the growing pains or learning curves or whatever the fuck. <laughs> this big sloppy mess will lay the, uh, the groundwork for me actually getting the feel for how gameplay feels. Because, funnily enough, we kind of did just now get my first experience with trying to control my character in a situation where I have to actually perform <laughs> besides just walk around and look at things and be like, oh, that's nice. That? Oh, I already got that. Alright, so let's switch back to this guy. Oh, they see me. Someone saw me. Okay. Uh. They, made my, they put my gun away. Whoa! Nope, not that. There are so many buttons. Oop, there's a lot of you guys, apparently. Okay. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have been asking that guy, you sure we'll manage? It's like, I think we got more trouble. Not the correct range for this weapon, but a little bit of, it caught me in a bit of a moment. Um, there we go. Sup? Stop overheating my shit, it's rude. Ah, uh, My shit's all fucked up, isn't it? So over is overheat what causes me to get take fire damage for a bit? Go, go, go. Fucking stop it. Power slide. Power slide. Is the fire out yet? Jesus. Can you even put out a fire that's on the inside of your body? 
Where's this fucking hack? God, I really wish that tutorial didn't fucking r r screw me over and disappear. It'd be really helpful if I knew what to do when people are hacking me, since now I just now I just don't know what to do. I just fucking take the damage. <clears throat> Why would you give me a combat tutorial in the middle of a fight without pausing the game? Hey, buddy. Hello. Where the fuck did she go? There you go. There you go. Hey, buddy. We're doing okay. Hi! Oh fuck, I can't fit through there. I'm a large boy. Okay. Can't fit through here? That's annoying. I can't, I cannot get a good look around the, the environment. It's, it's really chaotic looking, a lot of debris. And there's people in a lot of different directions trying to shoot me. Oh, that's you. Hey, buddy. Who is hacking me? Where are you? Where? Where? Stop it! What a confusing mechanic. Wait, did I switch guns? Dude, I am trash at this game, apparently. <laughs> Holy shit. I am completely disoriented and confused and overwhelmed and it's just a shooter. <laughs> it's a shooter. How is How am I this confused about how to play it? It's like a shooter with a couple of powers here and there, basically. And I'm like completely overwhelmed on how to do basic controls. Or like how to get around. Or telling where the enemies are, or the layout of the fight. This is rough. I think they might have just spotted me. Which is not good. Some explosives around. There's this guy. What a busy room, huh? Hmm. But I have like no RAM. And I can't do the thing that gives me more RAM. The breach. Break chain. Remote deactivate. Break chain on a what? A crate stack. I guess it would just fall over or something, but there's no there's no one there. I feel like I'm gonna regret specializing in Stealth and disassembly Because it's immediately starting to feel like maybe I should just be ready to shoot everybody Because the detection seems pretty quick This really slows down time All right, uh I thought looking at you brought up a distract targets thing. Oh that brings up distract targets Okay, I guess I'll have to do How do I leave? Shit Fuck, how do I leave? There we go. Ah, shit. Oh, what? How did they get behind you? What? <laughs> ah! All that fucking setup. <laughs> I do all that fucking setup trying to look around and, and tag people, and the first thing I see when I go outside is my own ally looking back at me, and then the enemy's behind me somehow. What the fuck? That's so fucking confusing. Jesus Christ. Alright, we leveled up. Let's look at a... Like, find like a gun skill or something? Because I'm just really trash at guns right now. Health slowly regenerates during combat. Increased carrying capacity. Shotguns, light machine guns deal 3% more damage. Wow! 
Increases damage from combo attacks and blunt weapons. I don't think I want to be a melee person that bad. So here's a gun tree, I guess. So let's get the first pistol or first shotgun trait. I'm a fan. And that's under body, so maybe I'll put a point into body this this time. You guys are getting the uh, the full blind playthrough experience today, where I'm just hitting a brick wall on basic gameplay, and it's like I, don't know, I guess I'll leave it all in. This is just the authentic how things are going right now for me. Uh, draw a weapon. There we go. I keep putting my guns away. It's like we're in a combat situation, so it's kind of awkward for me. I pretty much immediately don't have much in way of hacking available, so it's kind of not super useful to me. That at least gives me a chance to try to mark everybody. I can have an idea where they are because there's so many of them. Probably most of them. Definitely fairly busy environments. Oh, I've... shit. Middle mouse is tagging. You don't just stare at them and scan them. That's a mistake I'm making too. Uh, escape is C. Yeah, I could have done a lot more to him, potentially. Alright, uh, quick save. <laughs> After putting all that work in, let's actually keep it this time. That guy's next to a giant explosive canister, which I feel like I can work with that. There you go. Oh, so that's a guy I didn't scan before. Shit. There we go. Oh, you're throwing grenades at me? Oh, that's not a fucking shotgun. Shit. God damn it. Stop pulling your fists out. I never want that. It's, I think it's treating my empty slot as an equally valid weapon slot. It's like, nope. 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 Empty means don't do that one. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah. There we go. Fuck! I die quick! Alright, I mean, hmm. I'm not really having that much fun, if I'm being honest. Let's just go to normal. I tried. Like, is this... <laughs> I don't think hard. I don't think this is going to be like the like the gunplay is going to be my favorite part of this game. So let's just fucking go to normal difficulty. Let's just go. This is just going to be a drag on the entire playthrough and it's clearly, it's just not the highlight. Like the environment and stuff like that is like neat, but the gunplay is just kind of frustrating and overly convoluted but also not that rewarding and I'm just like, "Eh. Maybe I'll maybe when I get more of a feel for the game, I'll put the difficulty back up." at a later point, but at this point I think it's just kind of to the detriment of our playthrough for me to keep doing it that way. Okay. Nice of you to show. We're starting to get bored. These guys are just looking straight at each other, which makes them, like, unstealthable.
Whoa. Well, that didn't work. Hello. You feeling all right? That's fine. But yeah, I was already getting tired of getting two shot in every fight. Did I escape the overheat? Did I take enough cover or whatever? Oh, hello. Who the fuck's doing that? I'm hiding. You can't see me. They can see me. Okay. Uh, does shooting the camera work? It does, apparently. I missed it point blank range. That's another computer, not the time. Where, who, why? Hacking's getting annoying, actually. What? Stop that. Fuck. Everything's on fire. Oh, shit. Yep. Okay. I'm on fire again, because of course I am. Is it you? Stop that. I'm about to die again anyway. What? Shit, I moved a little bit. <laughs> I'm a fucking disaster. Oh, did I just shoot you? What? I'm always on fire. It's really annoying. I'm just on fire again. <laughs> Alright. Hello. I missed twice. I'm a wreck. All right. I guess I just got to adjust my expectations a little bit. And that it's going to feel combat's going to feel a bit less, at least so far, a bit less like a shooter and more like a janky Fallout game, which is, I guess, a redundant terminology, a Fallout game, the 3D ones. Uh, because uh, those are always like awkward and silly and weird, and they never really felt mechanically great for the gunplay. And I guess I expected this to feel different, but honestly, this kind of does just feel like it does actually feel like a Fallout game <laughs> with its cut with the weird awkwardness. I abused the shit out of vats in Fallout 3 because it meant, meant that I didn't have to actually engage with the weird feeling shooting as much. This is just a dead end, I guess. I was, I was able to hack my way in here, but I guess it was, it was just a little loot. Oopsie. Wrong button. Stop it. What is that? That's a... Reach... No, what is it? Oh, floodlight. They just don't know where I am right now, apparently. I was just so effective at stealthing away. Get the fuck away from me. How did I fuck that up so bad? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> High score. Get out of my way. Eh. There we go.
Yeah, we, we might quickly learn that I chose poorly with my starting build choices. I might quickly be like, no, I should just be a shotgun boy. That's always the thing. It's like, oh, I want to specialize in stealth, or I want to specialize in blah blah blah. But it's then you have to play the game after you. Like you, you always have to build your character before you actually play it, which is awkward. Because what if you, the moment you start playing the game, you're like, oh, I hate, I hate playing shit. Like, what if the particular game's implementation of stealth is just like, I don't like it, <laughs> and I'm kind of like, maybe I don't like it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> I like shotgun sliding. Eat a dick. <laughs> Eat a dick. Why can't you just die of all the meleeing I did? Uh oh. All right. New lesson learned number 762. Uh Melee's shit. <laughs> uh, the quick melee on your gun. It's only good for maybe a stun or something. But like, you can't like, you can't layer on damage. What? No. 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 The fuck you say? I was quick saving, sir. You don't load me all the way back to the last checkpoint. Maybe that was me. Maybe I clicked too fast on something. I don't know. What? I'm pretty sure I quick saved somewhere else. I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. Oh well. Whee! Oh shit. Hi. There you go. Good. There we go. I just went back in the room I came from. I'm a wreck. Buddy? Oh shit, that's that interrupt that interrupts my very long reload screen. Dude, die of shotgun! Holy crap, you take hits. We. That's not a door. Oh, it's hard to be scared the 75th time you play one room. Alright. I'm kind of done with this, and I kind of want to go back to the everything else about this game instead of this part of the game. Hi there. I have literally been in more turret sections where I shoot from a moving car in a basically scripted sequence where I'm not actually really playing the game. Or the stakes don't seem to matter. I've been in more of those fights than, than fights like this up until now. So I feel like we escalated really quickly, and I'm not ready for it. Stop burning me. It's rude. Alright, well that doesn't work. Sorry, I'm currently burning to death from the inside, apparently. Oh, something's exploding on me. Is everything on fire all the time? Hey, move your assets. They're zeroing up. Yeah. Oh. Madre. Everyone's a bullet sponge sponge even on easy. I mean normal. Fuck. I'm a wreck. I can't believe I'm missing <laughs> this close. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I got an American gun rifle. 
Thank you, game, for not having functioning quick save and quick load. I love having to replay the whole encounter. Hi. Ah, fuck. There we go. I'm just chugging these right now, apparently. You down. Oh. I mean, I wanted to throw you off the cliff, but I guess that works too or something. <laughs> Just wanted to throw him off a cliff and I couldn't even do that. Oh, there's a camera put looking at me again. Why, hello. Can I have a checkpoint, please? Quick save. Can't wait for when it doesn't work. Okay. Watch out. No markers. Oh, yeah, mark that. Floodlight. That is a floodlight. It's easy to, for me, it's easy to miss the part of the screen that actually says what I'm looking at right now. It's kind of an easy... It's not the, like the most high detail to tell part. I keep wanting to look at like the left and, side, and right side of the screens that are both interactive, but those don't say what I'm looking at. I have to then switch back to like looking, looking for the name in the middle somewhere. Ah, fuck. Nope. Did she see me see me? Or just almost see me? Now they're at least marked, so I have the chance to try to sneak up on one of them. Hello. Not really sparing people right now, obviously. Oh. Ah. Oh! Rude! Where is he? You're getting special treatment, sir. Oh god. Hi there. Yeah? Perfect! Thank you for throwing a grenade. Good opening. Fuck. Oh, how am I, how am I missing so much? Fuck! Alright, fuck, we'll, submit, submit. we'll do a keyboard and mouse again, except I keep fucking that up too. Ah. I can't get comfortable on anything. Oh my god. Okay, we're past this. Apologies to fucking everyone. <laughs> uh, I just, I, I don't know. The game doesn't feel good on either control scheme, and I'm trying to adapt, but it's it's been it's a struggle so far. Combat is disorienting and confusing, and like the moment-to-moment -moment gunplay feels odd. And maybe I'll get used to it. Maybe it's me. All I can all I can do is report my current experience. And so far, I'm like I yeah uh, I kind of just want the fighting to be over and go back to the other parts of the game because it doesn't feel great. <laughs>